Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's time to start working on this 4th Gen Accord Coupe, 1990 Accord. I thought I'd just set up the camera and start knocking some of these tasks out of the way. I'm gonna start with the brake lines, getting this out of here, and then I'll probably uh, move the camera down and we'll get the suspension off, get the subframes off, vacuum out all these leaves and sticks. But yeah, follow me along for the ride as we restore this beautiful Accord. Let's go. And there you have it. I've got all the front suspension out. Got the uh, proportioning valve out. S front subframe out. Okay. And this engine bay is just looking better and better by the minute. Next, we're gonna try to get these brake lines off of here. So grab a 10 millimeter box wrench and make sure to juice it up with some penetrator fluid. We'll try to get this off of here. There you go. Boom. Easy peasy. Boom. 
Look at that. Rear subframe. Out. And if we take a look over here, you can see just how much nicer this thing is looking. Oh, I'm hyped to get this thing painted. But yeah, what's next? Ah, well, I got the shop vac out finally. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get all these leaves vacuumed up out of here and we'll see what we're working with. All right, guys. Well, here's where we're at so far. I've been working on the car a little bit off camera, doing little things here and there, like the uh, the window trim. I got all of this off. I wanna clean this out and um, figure out what we're gonna do about this. I was debating taking all of the glass out of this car, but, um, I think for this particular vehicle, I might just leave the glass in here. The windshield is cracked up here, or I cracked it on accident. So maybe we'll replace the windshield. We do have more CB7 glass that we could put in. But uh, again, got all the trim out. This needs to be cleaned up. Roof trims out of here. This whole car is just really dirty. We're gonna start taking steps to get this engine bay shaved down a little bit, hopefully. Get all these holes filled up. That's my goal anyway. Um, anything except the headlight bump, uh, headlight bolt holes, which I guess one here, 
one right there, and then maybe we can plug all the rest of these holes up. I would like to get hood struts for this thing so we can get rid of the hood prop and, you know, the hood prop stay. So yeah, that's gonna be a pretty big project. I've been doing my research here and there, but um, this is what it's looking like so far. And then the inside has come along fairly decent. I mocked up all the pedals in here, as you can see. So I got the pedals bolted up just to see how things will look in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the dash back in here. We'll see. What I really want to do is get this thing running and driving like as bare bones as possible, just cause I thought it'd be cool. Eventually we're gonna have to paint the inside of this car to fix this issue right here. Not sure what happened there, that's all banged up, um, but like I said, I want to plug all the holes that won't be needed. I need to get the clutch cylinder and the brake master cylinder bolted up here. I know I need those four bolt holes and then I need those two bolt holes for the clutch cylinder. And then I'm pretty sure I don't need any of this stuff over here, but uh, we'll see as time goes on. And yeah, here's the engine, the F22 that uh, I'm working on. I'm waiting on the cylinder head to be uh, resurfaced and examined. I got new valve stem seals that I gave to the machine shop for them to install. And pretty soon we'll be ready to put all the rest of this stuff back on. Just need to get a new water pump and a oil pan. So yeah, that's where we're at guys. Pretty soon I'm gonna actually get the front wheels back on this thing, I think, and we're gonna roll it outside uh, so I can get a little bit more access to the rear. I wanna obviously rebuild the rear suspension and take the gas tank out. Um, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room back there. So I might just roll it outside. And then under here, you can't really see very well but um, there's still spots that need to be cleaned. All that needs to be scrubbed up. So, or at least as much as I can get. And then we're gonna have to rerun those fuel lines and the brake lines and everything. And yeah, that's where we're at. It's been a pretty slow process. Um, and I think as time goes on, I'm actually going to break things up into separate videos rather than just piling a whole bunch of random stuff into one video like I did with this one. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.